Okay, so what's this video? Everybody keeps talking about this video. YouTube, uh, Warcraft, YouTube, Platinum Wow made some video that everyone was like, S fan, S fan. I, dude, my DMs are blowing up about this video. And this is a video from Platinum Wow on the uh, Warcraft YouTube channel. What's new in Wow Classic Season of Discovery? Okay, so everybody keeps telling me to watch this video. The drums of war sound again, and the newest experience being added to Classic WoW is the Season of Discovery, a familiar yet different classic experience which focuses on exploration, open world activities, and nice. wild, never before seen player progression with unique gameplay. Okay, I want to I want to take a look at this. And wild, never so you got the metamorphosis. Wait, what's going on here with the little tiny shadow priests? What player progression with unique gameplay? You got the Paladin Avenger Shield. And let's go wow, and let's uncover all of the cool new priest homunculi. In this it's a rune. Okay. Experience. First, let's start with the discovery aspect of the season. All around Azeroth, we see our favorite locations, monsters, quests, loot experiences. But yeah, we see twists, like hidden areas, never before seen quests, and new monsters. Hidden amongst these little okay. discoveries, you Rune might of find the, the season of discovery's most exciting feature. Runes. Runes are items that you can engrave on your Mage, armor, burnout, which can work like a secondary enchantment. These runes can provide active or passive abilities from future expansions or entirely new ones that can change. Okay, so <laughs> this is what people. Okay, this is what people keep talking about. Look, these are the Paladin runes. We got Divine Storm up here, Horn of Lordaeron, Aegis, Ardent Defender, uh, Augmented Seals. I, I don't know what Augmented Seals is. Howling Blast. This is, dude, immediately, I can tell you, immediately seeing this, I can tell you that it's, yes, it's bait, 100%. The classic team has, if you if you follow these guys on Twitter, if, you, if you've if you been, like, paying attention to the, the stuff they've been talking about and all that, I think that they are just trying to throw out everything to just mess with people. Like, whatever opportunity they can to mess with people, they're taking it. And one of the prime examples of, of why I say that is when you go right now and go look at the seasonal realm selection, they literally have two realms named, is there a limit to how many and streamer realm? They like, they're just, these guys are just trolling us now. Like, they, they're, they're like, like, come on. Yeah. I like, I feel like it's uh it's one of those things where, they're taking every opportunity to get people to talk about stuff and they're doing a great job at it. I mean, they got me to watch the video because a bunch of you guys are messaging me. But yeah, so and I, I saw some of you guys say in chat that they've clarified since then, since this video came out, I guess, that it's not a, uh, Agron said on Twitter that it's it's not a real thing. But I think that's funny. I, I like that they're doing that because it just gets people talking and it it, it is funny. It's cool, you know. Uh, they're having fun compared to the 2019 vanilla release. Dude, you know, I, I, and, and not to take away anything from that, because obviously that was an amazing time, and I had a lot of fun. A lot of you guys had fun. A lot of you guys are experiencing Classic WoW for the first time right now, or you're about to experience Classic WoW for the first time right now. But I feel so much like 2019 Classic WoW was like Globo Gym, and now it feels like Average Joe's, if that makes sense. It's a lot more like it just it, it's a lot more firing at the hip. It's a lot more it, it's just a very it's a much more like casual kind of fun environment than it was in 2019. Everybody was like just showing up. It's like the best way I can describe it is it felt like esports. But it was classic wow in 2019 and it was kind of like it was just, it was way too serious. It was way too serious and uh now it's a lot more, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot more, I don't know. It's just more fun. Um, uh, I mean, I love, I love 2019. Don't get me wrong. I love 2019 classic, but, uh, I hope the game, I hope the game matches up with this fun feeling that we have. Anyway, let's continue the video. Ones that can change the play style of your class. Some examples include paladins with Avenger shield, yeah. summoning an army of void minions or totally role defining runes like warlock shamans and rogues now being able to tank or mages being able to heal with time magic. Another core feature of the Season of Discovery is level banded content. When the servers are first released, all players will have a max level of 25. And then over time, it will be raised to 40, then 50, 
and finally 60. Strength and honor. The unique thing about this is that for each level bracket, there will be new, never before seen endgame content that players can participate in. For level 25, BFK. the Black Fathom Deep's Dungeon will be transformed into a 10 player raid with new bosses. I wish, I wish they had done loot. SFK for this. Dabu! Each level bracket will have a new but raid BFD and are okay to be approachable to most players, but interesting BFD enough makes sense to provide a challenge with a difficulty akin to the original raids of Classic WoW. But when you're traveling to the new Black Fathom Deep's raid, be careful, as the contested zone of Ashenvale is now rife with conflict. I love Another this. Another new feature is Battle for Ashenvale. This new feature transforms the zone into a world PvP. Look at this real quick. Look at this video. This, this is the new Ashenvale map, right? Look at this. You've got logs and you've got a house. Horde Alliance. So this is, these are the points of uh, where, where the PvP areas are going to be in Ashenville. So these are the nodes. I, I really like that they're doing this because of the story of uh, Warsong. Like, all, everything in Vanilla WoW is like, well, everything in, a lot of things in WoW have, like, a lore explanation. Warsong Gulch as a battleground doesn't just exist. It's the, uh, it's the area between Ashenvale and the Barrens. So, cool stuff. Okay into a world PvP hotspot, where Horde and Alliance players will battle over territory and defeat enemy war masters and leaders in something similar to Alterac Valley. Oh, this is our first look. With this event, the you can earn Moon reputation Ray. with the Silverwing Sentinels or the Warsong Outriders and obtain new rewards like mounts that can only be ridden in Ashenvale, new Dude, helms. OG, these are the OG epic mounts, the unarmored epic mounts that they, they didn't put these in 2019 Classic because I actually, I remember I had a chance to talk to, to some of the devs and I said, like, is there anything you guys can can do to, to put the OG unarmored epic mounts in the game? Maybe like put them in the game for like the first phase as like a reward for people to get their epic mounts early. And uh, they, they didn't want to do that because they didn't want to like promote like unhealthy, like, you know, people rushing to get an epic mount in phase one or whatever. Um, that was like kind of the uh, the the plan. Which uh, it was a real a real bummer because I'm like, man, I love the old unarmored epic mounts, and I think it's cool to give people an opportunity to actually use them. So uh, I'm glad that they didn't waste those models and they're putting them back in the game for Ashenvale. In Ashenvale, new helms and weapons. This is just new a weapons. brief summary of the content being introduced in the season of Discovery, and there will be so much more to explore within the future phases of these seasonal servers. Altogether, this experience is about Azeroth being the main character. It's about exploring Ooh. undiscovered lands, creating unique builds for your character, battling the enemy faction in world PvP events, and delving into new raids with your guildmates. Now is the perfect time to return to the world of Azeroth and explore the familiar yet different lands in the season of Discovery. I cannot wait, dude. I cannot wait, man. That's a great video. I, dude, I'm so, dude, I'm, I'm just, I'm so happy that, that uh, Blizzard has been working with some of these guys like, like Platinum WoW and, uh, you know, Hurricane has been doing a bunch of their cinematic stuff for Classic and uh, it's, it's just, it's so great to see, man. I'm so unbelievably happy and, and excited about Season of Discovery and, and I really hope it lands, man. Based Classic dev team. I hope, dude. When's it dropping? Dude, it's dropping tomorrow. It's dropping November 30th. So it's dropping today. <laughs> it's dropping in 12 hours from when we're watching this, okay? Them drawing inspiration from what the, the 2019 classic beta was and capping it at 25. There's some people like, oh, well, it's only to level 25. Is, is there really that much content? You know what? Only to level 25, there, not, might be, there might not be that much content in the game. But the amount of player-driven content that was made in the 2019 Classic Beta when the cap was 30 was incredible. The PvP events, the world felt bigger than ever because there was zones and there was all kinds of places everywhere that we could not go to. There were, there were, pl there were places in the world that it was basically impossible to get to because everything is so much higher level than you that you're just going to get destroyed instantly. Like, it's actually amazing. It's such a fun feeling, even going to do different dungeons. Like, we did, with five level 30s, we did Scarlet Monastery, Armory, and Cathedral. That was insane. I remember doing that with Asmin. Was like one of the, dude, it, it was me, Asmin, stay safe. But that was incredible, dude. And that was a legitimate, 
That was a legitimate world first. We had zeroed the hunter and we had one other guy. Yeah, it was zeroed the hunter and there was one other guy and I can't remember who the other, uh, oh, was it Loy? So zeroed was a hunter from, from raid three, uh, from my private server guild, raid three. But yeah, so that was, that was like a legitimate world first. I mean, it, it had to be because who would have been insane enough to ever do SM Armory and SM Cathedral with only level 30s? Like that probably was. It, like, like we were like, wait, this is actually like a real. Th so, so it's cool. It's cool that we're we're going to have the opportunity to do that again with a level twenty five cap, and I think part of the reason, I think it, maybe it was just one bonus reason as to why they chose level twenty five instead of 30, 30, 40, 50, 60. Uh, I think it's because thirty was done with a beta. Maybe I don't know. Forty was also done with a beta. So again, who knows? But I think it's going to be fun to see doing Gnome Ragon at level twenty five. Who knows? We might, dude. We might we might try armory or cathedral again at level 25 and see if we can do it. Probably not. It's probably going to be impossible. But I think setting our goals is to like, let's see now that they've added all this stuff into the game. Let's see if we can clear with five less levels. Let's see if we can clear as much content as we did at level 30. I think it's going to be cool. I think it's going to be very fun. I, I think it's going to be incredibly fun. I think it's going to be cool to see. I know they're going to be scaling up the difficulty of the content, making the mobs do more damage and have more health and all that stuff. So um, it's just going to be super cool to see. I can't wait. Season of Discovery is going to be incredible. Uh, they're making a bunch of changes to, to rep paladins. They're making a bunch of changes to prop paladins. Basically, Season of Discovery is like, it's one thing short of it being my ultimate dream scenario of what World of Warcraft could possibly be, and that's seal twisting. If we have, and seal twisting exists, but seal twisting specifically between seal of, seal of the Martyr or seal of blood and seal of command. If they add that in, that is my own, per, that is my personal like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be incredible. I cannot wait, dude. Yeah, I cannot wait. Between how, how fun prop paladins are going to be, how how fun rep paladins are going to be, and uh, even even the 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 very very tiny issues that holy paladins actually have to deal with, uh, they they're getting some really strong buffs too. So on a personal front, I'm excited. I love this. It's going to be great. We're getting the band back together. Crusades coming out to season of discovery. Uh, it's it's going to be good stuff. So so I hope you guys are excited as I am for season of discovery. Leave me some feedback in the YouTube comments. If, if you guys want to leave feedback for devs as well, like, you know, these guys go and they read YouTube comments everywhere. So, so if you guys have some good legitimate feedback, throw it in the YouTube comments. Hopefully they see it. Hopefully they read it. Uh, like the video, subscribe, turn on your notifications, all that stuff. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, like I said, super passionate about WoW. I do everything on this channel, but uh, Classic WoW is kind of where I come from, and I'm super excited to bring it back with Season of Discovery. And uh, yeah. YouTube, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter, Threads, X, everything is SFAN TV. Make sure to follow, subscribe, like everything, whatever. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you guys in Azeroth and Season of Discovery.